to BSA Back to the Bible, a weekly video podcast outlining the books from Genesis to Revelation. We're so glad you've joined us for this week's episode. My name is Alan Pettinger, and today we're going to be looking at the book of Philemon found in the New Testament. Um, This book was written by Paul when he was probably in house arrest in Rome in about the year 65, shortly before he was killed. This is a very personal letter to a man by the name of Philemon, who lived in the town of Colossae. We have no record that Paul actually visited Colossae, but we know that there was a church there, and it seems as if uh, Philemon was a a, a Christian there, a member of of the church. Um, But this is, is it's personal. But even though it's personal to this man, this book is important to us as Christians. Because in our Christian life, there's some things we need to learn to do. One of those things is to we have to learn how we can go and seek forgiveness. But not only ask for forgiveness, but we also need to learn how to uh, forgive someone who has done us wrong. And so restoration is a great part or a big part of the forgiveness process. Well, our story goes this way. Onesius is a slave to Philemon. Yes, there was slavery back in, in Paul's time, and uh, and he, he runs away, and he probably takes something with him. Maybe he steals some money, and he ends up in Rome, and some will say by coincidence, he ends up where Paul is at. Now, his life was in danger. As a slave that had stolen and run away, there was a death penalty attached to what he had done. But I don't believe it was a coincidence that he spent time with Paul. I believe this was a divine appointment that God had set up because we God saw in Onesimus something special, a young man that could be used of God during this time. And so our assumption is that during this time, Onesimus accepts Jesus Christ, becomes a Christian. But now that he has embraced Christ, he needs to go back and make right the things that he has done wrong. And he needed to receive restoration. You see, God forgives us for our sins. When we we do something wrong, we go back and we ask him to forgive us. But sometimes we need to go back to people who have hurt us or people that we have wronged and ask them to for forgiveness, to forgive us. Um, And so Paul sends Onesimus back to Colossae with this letter to confront Philemon and to make things right. Paul's object in writing this letter is to intercede with Philemon to forgive and receive um, Onesimus as a Christian brother. Paul Paul makes it personal. He says, "If, if he owes you anything, Paul says, I will repay you. We can see from the text that Paul became very attached to Onesimus. In verse 10, he calls him his son. In verse 11, he says, at one time, Tim, uh, Onesimus was uh, was useless, but now he has become very very useful. This letter is a perfect example of what Christian courtesy, tact, delicacy, and generosity looks like, and um, it ends with a very personal appeal from Paul in verse 17. Paul basically says to Philemon, "Receive, forgive Onesimus." as you would receive me. In other words, Philemon, you're doing this as if you're looking at me in the face today. Well, the Bible doesn't tell us or give us an ending to the story, but how can a person like Philemon ignore such a personal letter and request from the Apostle Paul? Uh, Church tradition tells us that Onesimus went on to be Come the bishop of the church in Berea. If that's true, then forgiveness and restoration took place in this in this letter. Well, there are two lessons that we can learn from this. And the first lesson is this: when I have done something wrong, when I've hurt somebody, I need to go back and make amends. I need to go ask that person for forgiveness and also to try to make something right about it. It may, it may cost you something to do that kind of thing. But second of all, if I have been wronged, if someone has hurt me, 
If someone has said something against me and they come back and they seek my forgiveness, as a Christian, I'm obligated to offer forgiveness and also to make restoration. In other words, I'm supposed to forgive and forget. And if we're going to live with peace with each other, this is a very important lesson. Peace comes by forgiving and forgetting. And this is the message of the book of Philemon. Thanks again for joining us for BSA Back to the Bible. To check out more episodes, subscribe to our Blue Springs Assembly channel on YouTube or follow us on Facebook. And make sure to tune in Fridays at 3 p.m. for the next book in our series.